Welcome to Threaded South. My name is Ashley, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a sneaker logo in Adobe Illustrator. This is part one of the tutorial. In part two of the tutorial, I will show you how to take this logo and create a pop-up shop flyer from it. So make sure you stick around because the second part will come next week after this video. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is create a document that's 10 by 10 CMYK 300 resolution. Now type out the name of your logo. I'm starting off with the word sneaker and I'm using the font sans black small with a 118 size font. Now I'm going to place this sneaker image because I will be using this image as a guide for my sneaker logo. Rotate the image so that it's more horizontal rather than vertical. Now place your sneaker text above it and in the layers panel, we are going to lock the shoe layer. Now grab the word sneaker and go to object, envelope distort, make with mesh. Now change your rows to three and your columns to three. Now here I'm just making my text a bit bigger. Now use your direct selection tool and select the ends of the words. So as you can see here, I'm just clicking on the edges and on the corners and adjusting it and pulling it like so, so that it forms to the shape of the sneaker. I'm just speeding this up a bit here so that you can get a sense of how to shape the text. So I'm just basically repeating the same steps over and over until I get it aligned how I would like. Now go to object expand and click OK. Now I'm going to select the letters E, A, K and copy them and then do edit paste in place. And I'm basically going to do the same steps over again, but I'm going to change the rows to two and columns to two. This process can definitely take some time, especially if you're trying to get it to look a certain way. And here I ended up selecting the S and E R and I added a warp to them as well. And I'm continuing to distort it and to shape it so that it looks more like the shape of a shoe. Now grab the type tool and I'm going to type out the word thing. Keeping the same font size and placing it under the letters E A K. And I'm going to follow the same previous steps. I'm going to make with mesh and change my rows to three and my columns to three. And now here I'm speeding it up again so that you don't have to sit through the long process of me forming these letters.
Now go to object expand and we're going to delete the letter I because we are going to make this I into a shoelace. So grab your pen tool and form a curved line that goes under the rest of the word and goes all the way up to the E and the R. And change the stroke to 24. And now here I will end up using my direct selection tool to adjust the curve of the stroke. Now here I'm going back up to the word fiend and I will adjust this text a bit more because I want the stroke to be a little bit more closer to the letters. Now go to object expand and click OK. Now we're going to click on the direct selection tool again and we're going to make these edges a bit more curved at the end of the laces. And we're going to do that for each end. Now I'm going to use my rectangle tool and create the little end part of the laces. Using my regular selection tool, I will curve the edges. And copy and paste and add one to the other end as well. Now here I'm going to do some more editing because I felt like the words didn't quite fit the shape of a sneaker. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.